it was very eerie being in Kyiv in, in uh, February uh, because it was like watching um, a train coming towards you and you were, you were on the crossing and you had flooded the engine and you saw this coming towards you and you couldn't do anything about it because you knew it was going to happen but deep down no one believed it would happen because I think what happened on the 24th of February was one of the biggest strategic miscalculations we've seen for decades. Our commitment to Europe and to NATO and the Transatlantic Alliance is rock solid. I do not see us wavering from that in any way. Um, the unity that we have shown in support for Ukraine will continue. Um, and so I am very confident that we will continue in, in that vein. Again, the United States wouldn't have brought, brought Second Fleet back to life if they didn't think it was that important. So let me just get that one out of the way. We are there in the Transatlantic Alliances is important, if not more so than it ever has been. We have to ramp up the, uh, EU, the, EU, the European industry to be able to enter a war economy. Uh, to do that, we need to offer a business model that is suitable for the industry. That means offer a critical mass of orders to them. And we, cannot, we can do that only if we enter the joint procurement uh, sphere. We're also in a period um, with our allies of getting back to basics. And what I mean by that is some of the assumptions that we had previously in terms of understanding what was in supplier bases, understanding what it would take to increase production and expand production. And just as we um, in the U.S. are going through a real trying to understand what's there in the tiers below the primes, um, our allies are doing the same and we're having a lot of success in terms of collaborating on just basically understanding what we have and where some of the obstacles are to improving that. 